Wow, welcome back to episode three of Hannah Found a Random CD and now wants to recommend you books. Musical edition. <laughs> yep, that's me. So the CD that we are going to be recommending books to today is Xanadu. Let me let me say this first. Um, Xanadu walked so that Mamma Mia could run. If you love chaotic, nonsensical, no explanation musical numbers, Xanadu is for you. Let me tell you what it's about. Okay, so it follows a demigod named Olivia Newton-John, and she comes down to inspire painters. And how does she inspire this painter, you may ask? To, in fact, open a roller rink in the 80s. That's right. It's a musical Greek mythology demigod roller skating in musical numbers. How is this not more popular in 2020 in the year of the roller skating girl? Come on. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be listening to the classic songs from the 80s from the not so well known musical Xanadu. You know what's great about these videos is I feel energized afterward because we just get to listen to tunes. Come take my hand. You should know. John is introduced to our painter in roller skates. Why do I keep emphasizing it? Because it's important. So the song is basically about you have to believe in magic. Nothing can stand in our way. So that's pretty easy for me to recommend you. I'm going to recommend you any book by Anne-Marie McLemore because those are my favorite types of magic systems. The kind of loose, interpretive, lyrical, genius writing that I love. Are you going to know all the rules? No. But are you also going to analyze the beautiful poetry that is in front of you? Yes. Please pick up Anne-Marie McLemore. They're amazing. Next. Yes! This is such a good song. The best kind of cheesy music. Ready? She walks in and I'm suddenly a the perfect balance between musical um, and cheesy ballad and that happens to be my favorite <laughs> honestly while I was listening to that song it, it made me think of don't date Rosa Santos only only literally only because of the one line I'm ready to sail in the ocean on and don't date Rosa Santos um, is great because Rosa thinks that she's under a curse that she will fall in love with someone who will be lost to the sea is their family curse and what happens she ends up falling in love with a sailor so they might be lost to the ocean I don't know what this next one is explain myself okay number one I love musical theater number two I love when musical theater mixes two genres together and they end up singing together fun fact that's this song I also want to tell you that when you hear um, the older man singing that's Gene Kelly and I want you to appreciate that Forget about the blues tonight sweet thing Ready, ready, and then it goes. Turn into the rock and roll 
side. Don't wanna hear what you want. It's gotta be all my way. No, I won't take a back seat tonight. Woo. Got some dancing to do. Got some dancing to do. And then they come together and it's beautiful. So isn't that nice? I think that's why I liked Glee. <laughs> it's just because they fuse music together and there's something it does to my body. I love it. But that song is gonna be difficult to recommend you something. Let me think for a second. You know what? I'm gonna recommend you The Kingdom of Bath. And there is a logical reasoning. So Kingdom of Back is a fantasy that's set around Mozart and Mozart's sister. Um, and Mozart was very well known, according to my music, music appreciation class, for changing the genre. Going from the classical Baroque period to something new. And his sister did that too. And it's all about discovering who they were in a fantastical world. And I think it's Marie Lou's best book. So, also, number two, I lied to you, I'm so sorry, this is Gene Kelly's song. <laughs> but I lied to you, this is not Gene Kelly's song. I'm so sorry. How will you ever trust me again? This is the song that gets stuck in my head the most, from Xanadu. Ready? This is my favorite part. But how the hopelessly devoted to you section of the song where Olivia Newton-John's like, you know what, painter boy? You're kind of cute, and I like you, but let's create a roller rink together so I know your love will be real. I'm not kidding, that's an actual plot point. Hear me out. If you like that song, I think you should read The Starless Sea because it's all about finding your forever love while also navigating the circum-time continuum. It's all about stories and how time intercirculates with stories. And so it's about this guy named Zach who finds a storybook that has the story that he never thought he would find. That's such a bad summary. <laughs> but it's Aaron Morgenstein. If you don't trust me, trust Aaron Morgenstein. You'll love it. And if you love Olivia Newton-John talking about time, you'll love Aaron Morgenstein talking about time, okay? Okay. This better be Gene Kelly's song. Gene Kelly, guys. Whenever you're away from me, you're never far away from me. I only have to close my eyes, dear. You never, never stray, cause I'll never be far away. Okay, it's not a great song. We're at a stop sign, so I'm just gonna cut it off right now because I feel safe to talk to you guys. So, that song was just him reminiscing about love and life. And also, I have the inclination to recommend you a classic just because how jazzy and old-fashioned it is. So, the first one that comes to mind is Age of Innocence. And there's so much longing in that classic book. Honestly, I would have to say it's one of my favorite classics. It's about this guy who is betrothed to a woman. Guys, he doesn't like. Gasp. And so it's all about him finding love with another person and them discussing life, the discussion of perception, the discussion of isolation. Honestly, yeah, I'm selling myself. Read Age of Innocence, it's great. Also, fun fact, that was Gene Kelly's last movie. Isn't that iconic? He got to go out with roller skating Olivia Newton-John. Can't get over it. Oh my gosh. This one is the best song on the album, and I will jam to it so unironically. Why do I say, don't walk away? You'll be the way you were before. 
Cause you don't want me anymore I'm gonna stop, like, don't worry A gathering to meet me when you're gone so much. I swear that song feels like a religious experience to me. Um, and I don't know if you could see, but I definitely had an inspiration moment while I was coming home. And if you liked that song, you should read Places No One Knows because it mentions dreams and all the person had to do was not walk away. And guess what guys, Waverly did not walk away. So Places No One Knows basically follows this girl named Waverly who stumbles into the dreams of Marshall and they have beautiful conversations about life, what it means to be a teenager and it feels like a religious experience based on Brenda Yovanoff's writing style and the story in general. I think Places No One Knows is one of my new favorite books so if that encourages you at all to pick it up please pick it up. It is so good. So next. So this is the song where they finally opened the roller rink and it's beautiful. The love that we came to know to make I actually don't know what Xanadu means so while we're at this stop sign we're actually gonna look it up real quick Xanadu an idyllic place of great great or idyllic magnificence and beauty interesting so Xanadu is a, is a place of bliss can you believe I went 23 years without knowing what Xanadu meant there you go the more you know so, on, based on that definition and the song, I'm going to recommend you A Song of Achilles because even though it is a great tragedy, there's a line in that song called Xanadu, now we're together eternally. The Greeks kind of have their own Xanadu in the underworld and our protagonists served their purpose as heroes and now can spend eternity together. Aww. But if you want a love story about eternal bliss and also tragedy, sure, for 100%, pick up the Song of Achilles. So, that kind of ends this section of the video. Um, I hope you learned something about the word Xandu, the musical, and roller skates. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Keep reading and all that jazz. I had to concentrate on driving for a second because the Starbucks is a populated place. Um, a car, get out of my way! Did you see that big truck? That was kind of scary. I stopped recording because I got embarrassed to get my coffee. So, fun fact, I have anxiety. <laughs>